Mr. Havenson, question for you. Uh, Sorry, no, no questions. No questions or no answers, because I think I'm going to keep asking questions. <laughs> ShireSociety.com Well, yeah, I guess, I, I'm a firm uh, believer in getting them over there, not here. Yeah, I, I mean, if that, you're fighting the a war, with libertarians yeah, is what, if you follow their tenets, you'd wait until they're at our doorstep. No, if you're following your, their tenets, you would do what I did, and you'd go there yourself on your own dime and kill people. Although I haven't killed anybody, but I did go to Bosnia on my own dime. Go I, I was concerned about that war, so I went with my own money. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't ask taxpayers to help me. You didn't get the chance to shoot anybody. <sighs> I probably could have if I'd wanted to, but you didn't know what you, you don't know what you're missing. I did, well, I wasn't really interested in shooting anybody, but Why I did not? I did smuggle medicines in, and I mean the way I look at it, that might have been appropriate for me to do. I mean, looking back, should I have volunteered for the Bosnian army? Maybe should I have uh, acted as a mercenary? Maybe, but um, I, that was I wasn't ready to. I wasn't sure that was the right thing to do. Does that make sense? Well, you have to be can't, really sure. You can't fault your your, 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 your your integrity. You have to be really sure before you shoot somebody. Well, to be honest, the truth, the truth of the matter is, is that uh, when I was in Vietnam and I got my first kill, I was sick to death. You're supposed to be, and that's um, good. It means you're human. Matter of fact, yeah. I remember in the officers club, there was a special forces lieutenant that was, they were having a party because he got his first kill. And it was all like, you know, drinking and like, you know, yeah. like, you know how it is, like, the Navy, uh, the Navy pilots' parties, you know, really crazy. And I was just doing, doing their doing paperwork, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it kind of petered away. He came over to me. He, he says, "Major, he says, what was it? What was it like when you got your first kill?" You're a major in Vietnam. You do not look old enough to have been even a private in Vietnam. <laughs> so, <laughs> in fact, when I when I oh, saw you I when I saw you from 200 yards away, I thought you were one of the student volunteers. How close you don't look like a student, you know, if I do, but if I do this, uh, <laughs> yeah. But uh, no, seriously, I thought. I mean, I was surprised. I was shocked uh, when I saw you closer that you weren't a student. How about so, the little girl I was with? She's fifteen. She she, oh, she showed us how to get here. Okay. Well, anyways, <laughs> uh, he comes over and says, "What was it like when you got your first kill?" I said, "I was sick. I felt I had just done something that's wrong in God's eyes." And I'm not very religious. At all. I you know, even I would be reluctant to fault you for killing a Viet Cong. No, I mean, I, was, uh, I had to. I had yeah, to. or an NBA. I mean, it, it, yeah. it was actually NBA. But uh, mm. he broke down and he started crying. The, the, was, the, he, guy, he, he the guy... He's hugging me. The guy you and killed? I'm really huggy with guys. Oh, the guy you were telling about. Yeah, yeah. The, guy, the, the Special Forces Lieutenant. Okay, yeah. Sorry if I seem a little distracted. I, I tried to 360. Yeah. My car's there because, so they'll recognize me. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, Gail Huff and I have connections together. Gail Huff? Is he one of his wife. Brown's? Oh, That's okay, all right. Okay. Gail, <laughs> Gail Brown. <laughs> okay. She was, a, cor- she was a, a reporter on Channel 5. In Boston? Yeah. Okay. And um, when she was a reporter on Channel 5, the meteorologist was oh, Bob Copeland. Frank Gento. Jeez, I can't remember what I was going to ask you. And Bob Copeland was my teacher in college. Howdy. Mr. Havenson, question for you. Uh, Sorry, no no questions. No questions or no answers, because I think I'm going to keep asking questions. (laughs) Um, What is your disposition toward free staters? Um, I'm not talking about Marylanders, but the, the, the New Hampshire variety. Do I exist? How much accountability exactly can we expect from you as governor if you want to even answer simple questions from New Hampshire's number two YouTube channel?
not not now. Oh, okay, all right. Oh, that's, that's fair enough. Take care. The old world is collapsing, and it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, the Shire Society has a plan, a thriving web forum, and a history of action. It didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at ShireSociety.com.